On this program, we have recently discussed the emerging roles of artificial intelligence in various everyday applications, lawmaking to beer brewing. But the breadth of AI application doesn't stop here. What if AI could be used to unlock the secrets of the universe? Well, according to Dr. Mahendra Samara Wigrama, AI can be used to explore consciousness, which he believes holds the key to a deeper understanding of our reality. Dr. Samara Wigrama is the director of the Center for Consciousness Studies and a director at the Center of Sustainable AI, and he is currently a visiting researcher at UTS's School of Computer Sciences. I spoke to him about the ethics of conscious AI as well as the study of consciousness, its role in understanding the big questions of the universe and how AI can play its part. Consciousness is a pivotal point in uh, science and technology these days because we are talking uh, about consciousness in uh, various, uh, uh, various subject areas, for example, artificial intelligence, uh, quantum computing, and also uh, neuroscience and some of the brain research. Uh, and more we study, and what we realize is less we know about consciousness. And uh, one thing is clear that it's, it is uh, some kind of a fundamental to understand the causality, understand time, and understand reality. So let's, let's first look at the relationship between AI and consciousness before going on to some more uh, stuff about physics and, and the universe. So what would it take for an AI to become advanced enough to develop an, its own consciousness? Uh, I think uh, the relationship uh, of consciousness with AI is uh, twofold. One is uh, the way uh, AI learn, particularly when it comes to uh, self-learning AI like uh, reinforcement learning. In one, one way, uh, the AI itself uh, learning and consciousness play a role in related to uh, AI learning process. And on the other hand, that human's involvement, guiding AI to learn and creating values, that's also have some level of consciousness uh, that particularly related to humans. And so what could we possibly learn from involving um, AI into the study of consciousness and, that, and its potential to imagine higher states of consciousness? Now, perhaps AI in future might be able to get much higher uh, awareness, which is a quite interesting topic. The recent innovations in quantum computing, areas like quantum uh, simulations. Quantum computers now can compute very complex problems in a reasonable time that sequential computing might not able to think in a thousands or millions of years. If one day a quantum computer might uh, interact with artificial intelligence, then AI might be able to uh, get much higher awareness on reality where the brain perhaps not able to achieve. I think in future when the consciousness topic come into uh, discussion, uh, science will try to focus whether human consciousness can be uh, studied more and there will be more research on that domain. What kind of answers could we potentially uncover with a deeper study into consciousness? I think uh, the hard problem of consciousness, what uh, science and technology now define is uh, how uh, subjective experience of reality can be mapped into uh, objective measures of the brain. Now, we don't know how subjective experience map into brain. Now, that's a that's an interesting uh, research domain. In my research, I basically uh, 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 focused more on uh, the modeling or mathematical modeling of consciousness and uh, I, I basically assume that consciousness is a sequential process uh, of awareness and I link uh, that uh, certain uh, hypothesis like uh, irrespective of brain's parallel processing uh, that we can aware uh, one information at a time. Uh, it is uh, uh, a natural hypothesis because we know based on uh, some of the quantum uh, hypothesis in uh, quantum physics, particularly Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, we can know one information at a time. 
if we focused on particles momentum we don't know the position and vice versa so because of that uh, we need to somehow model the uh, consciousness and that consciousness modeling might lead to uh, scientific research on uh, consciousness in my uh, research i uh, assumed that the reality and the consciousness interact and interplay in the in a certain way now that is the requirement like we need to somehow uh, model consciousness in a mathematical way and then we need to think like whether consciousness is uh, fundamental and all other things emerge through consciousness uh, perhaps consciousness might be another dimension like space and time uh, and perhaps if we consider space time and consciousness we might explain quite a lot of things uh, more meaningful way so in summary this is the right time because there are a lot of science and technology areas evolve around the consciousness uh, this is the time that we need to more focused on consciousness and try to model it and so that would come modeling the consciousness would might come down to using an advanced ai, AI that can produce its own consciousness right it, would that be a would that be a path to take in 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 regards of studying the limits of consciousness i think uh, consciousness perhaps fundamental perhaps we might not able to derive consciousness from any other physical uh, dimension what we know in that way we need to understand how consciousness interplay with matter energy and other uh, fundamental physics perhaps as i mentioned like uh, consciousness uh, might play a key role for what we can bring into other field for example ai right we we can model the learning process more meaningful way in related to ai different people might need to contribute to this field for example people who study human brain interface has a role to understand okay whether ai can be supported by certain characteristics of the neurons and that neuron can uh, support uh, understanding the reality more meaningful way aligning with biological systems something like that so in that rather than uh, ai evolve as completely technical or in semiconductor level or as a subject area related to computer science we can think uh, interfacing with natural neural network and explore whether that understanding perhaps might able to understand realities in a different way there are quantum computing areas like quantum simulations which might able to integrate with ai to uh, instantly explore much complex realities which we might not able to uh, solve in a reasonable within a reasonable time uh, through normal computations we know so i think uh, that's the that's the uh, that's the that should be the vision that when artificial consciousness artificial intelligence uh, evolve uh, by taking the by learning the lessons from the other fields uh, developing in parallel what if any ethics questions might come up in regard to this study there are ethics related to commercial applications of ai which greatly discuss like for example socio economic inequalities biases uh, like for example deep fake uh, and some of the uh, areas like human dignity as well for when we talk about uh, autonomous weapons and uh, and some of the socio economic inequalities areas on the other hand uh, we don't know when artificial intelligence interact with uh, human consciousness maybe through a brain uh, machine interface what kind of influence that artificial intelligence bring into uh, brain or other way when when uh, when a system consist of uh, human in human involvement as well as ai involvement make a crime we don't know what kind of uh, consequences that might arise in the legal perspective and and we don't know what kind of ethics ethical uh, paradigm it new paradigms create through this kind of complex environment and those are the areas that uh, we need to explore particularly in uh, social perspective psychological perspective and also science and technology perspective 
What excites you the most about this field of study? And where do you see it going in the next couple of decades? We are come to a certain point that we uh, see the limitations of uh, physical measurements. Uh, we are come to a point that we see the limitations of our sensors, and we come to a point that we uh, see the limitations of physical measurements. And we are no longer talking about local realities, we are now talking about quantum entanglement and non-local realities. And, uh, and at the same time, uh, when we discuss certain uh, astrophysics areas, like for example, dark matter, dark energy, uh, we, we see only 5% of the reality and 95% uh, of the realities are dark matter and dark energy. Perhaps uh, our, uh, our awareness on the realities uh, is very limited. And I think we need to think, uh, look into consciousness uh, as a tool to uncover these unknown realities. Uh, I think uh, perhaps consciousness, as I mentioned before, uh, play a fundamental role to uncover the realities and, and get mo much more higher awareness than what, what we aware through our senses. So perhaps consciousness might be play a key role as a new sensor for humans, as well as artificial intelligence, to uh, aware the, uh, the reality and the reality in a different way. Think Digital Futures is made possible with the support of 2SCI Radio, the University of Technology Sydney, and is heard around Australia on the Community Radio Network. Think Digital Futures is made in Sydney, which sits on Gadigal land of the Eora Nation, whose sovereignty was never ceded. You can subscribe to Think Digital Futures wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Cameron Furlong. Thanks for listening.